Hi, Famosh here. I know that I've been upload solo -er videos too much, but I think this one will be the final one, at least for this season, because I've applied all my experiment results in this final run. At least until they change something about the damage formula or stronger weapons added in the future. But before that, I will show you the guide where to find this weapon and the mods because there are so many questions about it. So the easiest one to get a weapon is by going to the White Spring Bunker, but through the White Spring Surface Entrance. From here, just walk straight through this door and open this door by scanning your hand. Now we are inside, just continue to walk straight. To this modus production terminal. Open the weapons tab, and there you can see two plasma pistols here right now. You can just buy them from this vendor. Please note that I don't know if one with flame or barrel can spawn in this vendor. Please let me know in the comments if you got it. After that, you can just turn the weapon into a legendary in the weapon workbench. And the rest is up to RNG. In this clip, I didn't turn my pistol to legendary because I'm running out of the legendary modules. This legendary crafting feels really slow after your modules burn out. So hopefully they will do something about it in the future. For the flamer mod, you can check Watoga vendor bots, either one in station or one in shopping plaza. I found two aligned flamer barrel myself and some night vision scopes there. A weapon with flamer mod can be dropped from Enclave even Drop Connection, which can be found in Berkeley Springs, Harper's Ferry, and Watoga. Not sure if the mod itself can be dropped through this event, never happened to me. So that's it for how to get a gun, now I will show you some experiments regarding this gun. The first experiment is actually the 20 second video. In that run, I was using my anti-armor on cliff plasma with 50% critical damage and prime capacitor. The second experiment is the new one that I've never uploaded before. This one I was using my bloody 50% critical uncliff plasma with prime capacitor. The weapon damage I can achieve was really crazy. More than 400 damage in total. But it's hard to do compression like this isn't it? So I will put a health bar that I grabbed from the experiment one. This run was a fail because I didn't chuck enough coffee, so I ran out of AP in the last seconds. But we still can take the conclusion that anti-armor is better in the terms of uncliff plasma rifle. For other weapons, we need other experiments. This third experiment is the final one. Anti-armor provides better DPS for uncliff plasma rifle. So in this one, I was using the anti-armor version, but I changed the capacitor from prime capacitor to calibrated beta wave tuner, because it increases the critical shot damage. I think the normal calibrated capacitor is better, but Fallout Wiki says that one is unobtainable. So now, let's begin. 
As usual, I have bobble head, energy gun, guns and bullet 9 for critical damage and I have blight soup and mutations just like usual. Because I didn't use the Prime Capacitor, my damage is lower. Just over 18 seconds. Now I'll add the run to the comparison clip. Only the bloodied left, I won't even bother to put a timer on it. That's it for today, if you have any question please let me know in the comment section. Have a good day.